welcome back to my channel guys in today's video i shall be teaching you how to create this beautiful matte eyeshadow look so regardless of the eyeshadow look you're doing you should never skip eyeshadow base and i like to use my p louise base in the shade 02 you can use ben nye clown white eyeshadow base it's very good for matte eyeshadow as well or a very very bright oil free concealer and after applying a nice thin layer, you want to blend out the edges so there are no harsh lines. The first eyeshadow shade I am using for the inner eye corner is this milky shade from Zika and Lydia Stanley's eyeshadow palette. You want to go in and pack in that shade using a dense blending brush. The next shade is this milky shade that I am applying on the center part of the eyelid and I am also pressing it down using the same dense blending brush. For the outer eye corner, I shall be using this tinier blending brush to apply some black and this is the shape i'm going to be doing because i kind of want a rounded out effect on the outer eye corner next i am using purple to diffuse that black because we don't want it to be too harsh we just want it to give the eye some depth and i'm going to be going in with orange to blend out the purple as well if you notice i switched to a pencil blending brush because all those big brushes will not get into the precise points i want and then when i need to blend in a bigger scale i change to a denser blending brush and as you see i am using this pencil blending brush to create more shape and define the crease so that when she opens her eyes there's this nice depth of color and i'm using the brightest shade of orange it's subtle but it's the brightest and then i'm going back in with the colors just in case while i was blending i was taking them out so i went back in with the milky shade the white is shade and then the orange just to give everything a beautiful nice and seamless blend if you notice there is no vigorous blending here it's only on the points where there are lines that you go back and forth but when you are blending you know the colors together side by side you go in and stamp them together for the brow bone i'll be using this loose highlighter from colorbox cosmetics it looks pinkish but it has a golden undertone and it is so beautiful and as blinding as i like it so i'm just gonna blend it out just on the brow bone and then i'll go in with my younger beauty gel liner we're going to make a nice thick liner the trick for precision is stamping do not drag stamp 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 and go in smaller lines do not go that you want to draw the whole line once just go in little little lines and little lines will form the most perfect and flawless liner for you you want to make sure to go as close to the lash line as possible so that when the client opens their eyes there will be no negative space between their lashes the liner and the false lashes can you see how beautiful that looks so for the end i used black eyeshadow to blend out the edges so that the liner will like fade out into this nice smoke on the lower lash line i shall be using some silvery eyeshadow in the front and i'll be using this luster body glue to stick on this dd beauty pigments this is a white gold and this is a teal so i'll be using both of them the white gold in front the teal in the center and after i'm satisfied with how it looks i'm going to go in with purple at the edge and i'm going to add some black just to make the purple a little darker for the waterline i shall be using this p louise paint in the shade raver and i'll be stamping it on the waterline very carefully with a flat brush what i'm going to do is i'm also going to set it with some pink eyeshadow it dries on its own but you want to extra set it next i am using this blossom mascara to comb down the lower lashes and actually this is the final look tell me in the comment section if you'll be trying this look and if you have any other color combinations i can try for eyeshadow do not worry a part two of this look is coming where i show you how to do this flawless skin work on your clients i also have a video showing you how to tie this beautiful zara scarf so endeavor to tell me in the comment section what you think about our makeup i think it is extremely stunning remember to give me a thumbs up check out some of my previous videos and remember to subscribe before you leave thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye